All right, so I've already made mention in quite a few videos about the offensive rebounding and how it's already um, it's already made the game is orchestrated in such a way where you're not really allowed to get offensive rebounds at the rate that you should according to how you're playing, right? So check it out. I just want to show this example right here, right? Now, I beat everybody to the offensive rebound, right? And if you're just playing this at regular speed and you see what happened in your mind, oh, man, you know, he just knocked the ball out of his hand. He just poked it out of his possession, which is why I like to play these videos all the way through before I actually get started with my breakdown just to show you how if you're just in the moment you don't really notice all of this stuff that I break down that is what the developer the, the developers of this game bank on they understand the human eye the untrained eye you're not really going to catch this stuff in the moment right you're not really going to see it so check it out I get the offensive board. Let's look at this. Zoom in on it. And I know I beat everybody to it, but look at how I lose it. Watch this. Now you see that it's in my hand, right? Watch this. Watch watch when it get pops out. Uh, popped out. Look at where his hand is. Do you see that? You see where where he popped it out, right? Now you may say I'm nitpicking, but understand something. You have another instance just like this one right here where uh, uh, you could just put your hand right through the damn ball if computer is getting a rebound and you won't knock it out the hand. See, the ball can become tangible and intangible when they want it to be. Sometimes you don't even, you computer don't even have to touch it in order for whatever they want to happen to go down because they make it tangible and intangible according to a narrative at that moment. So you have times where you will touch it and your hand will go right through it. You have times where you will touch it and you actually move it or knock it away. You have other times like this right here where you don't even touch it and you knock it away. Why is that? Because the script surrounding the, um, the offensive rebounding in 2K is that you're not supposed to be able to just get every offensive rebound just because you actually are rightfully the one that's supposed to get it because they don't want you going overboard with the offensive rebound. They're trying to make it emulate the real life offensive to defensive rebounding ratio. So in real life, offensive rebounds are far more rare than defenses. Defenses come all the time. Offensives are a lot more rare, especially in instances like this where I like to maneuver around and beat defense uh, uh, to it and get to it. So what they do, instead of uh, just allowing you or programming the game to where it re your ability to get an offensive rebound is restricted based upon the actual logic of basketball, how it is in real life because they can't really figure it out or they're too lazy. What they do is they just arbitrarily say, no, nah, you're not getting the offensive rebound, <laughs> right? You have instances where you will be the only person there and you will go to jump for it and you'll completely miss it. You won't even be allowed to grab it because that's what, that's how they, you know, formatted this to go. You're not supposed to be able to just get offensive rebounds like that. But anyway, peace. Now, one, one more thing. Notice computer can snatch them all day, right? Computer could snatch them all day. I had a game where I computer had 12 offensive rebounds. I had one. I had 13 defensive rebounds. They had 12 offensive rebounds. Think about that. <laughs> Peace.